hi everybody it's crystal so how's it <laughs> how's everybody doing today i hope everybody is doing well and staying safe uh so do you guys want to talk about some yarn today i do so um first off i do do i do have a tutorial for this hat i didn't make this my friend rose made this for me but this is my chocolate bon bon beanie you'll find it on my uh uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you can just type that in and it'll come up. Um, and she told me that she used Caron Crystal Cakes. Because I'm Crystal. <laughs> to, to make it. So thank you, Rose. It's very beautiful. Alright, so today I'm going to show you some yarn from a company. I have I bought from them a couple times before. But it's been a long, it's been, it's been a long time. Um, the company is called Velrita. Now I'll put their uh, link below in the description box. They're based in Lithuania, Lithuania. So they have some particular cakes in here. Let's just open it up. This is how it gets shipped. <laughs> it's like, it's, I don't know what this is. It's like a brick of, it's a brick of yarn, right? Okay, so I'm going to be careful opening it. Now, if you go to their site, their site's going to be set up in euros. And I'll tell you how much it is in US dollars. You really, uh, for the yarn that I got, you can't find anybody that sells it cheaper. I can guarantee you that. They, they do like restocks. If you, I, I, I sign up to their mailing list, so uh, I know when they restock their yarn. I think they do them like twice a week or something. And then, uh, and their yarn sells really fast. I don't have time to yarn, but they got kind of yarn that I like and like I said you can't get it cheaper anywhere else usually though I get there too late and it's gone but I happen to get there in time and uh get it so it's okay I'm gonna stop this and get this plastic bag plastic garbage bag off of here all right I'm out of, I'm out of breath but back <laughs> now it's in this white bag this one should be easier easier to open Hopefully. I was on the floor wrestling with it. I'm not joking. I was. They had that baby packed tight. There it is. Oh, that's what I want to see. This is what I want to see. The beautiful. Now it's poofing open. It's poofing. It's poofing here and poofing there. All right. So let me show you what I got. Now. You guys have probably seen me open this yarn before and I've made I have tutorials for it using it on my channel I love it I love it for some odd reason I am absolutely obsessed with this using this yarn to make shawls with it is such a gorgeous yarn now like I said this yarn that I'm about ready to show you I guarantee you're not gonna find it cheaper anywhere else nowhere then at the Velrita all right, this is Yarn Art Flowers Alpaca. So normally I would get this from Hobium and it's like 20 bucks a cake there. Now, I do know Hobby I just seen re is recently selling a cake um, in a different brand, but it's the exact same thing. And on sale, it's $25 a cake. Valrita sells them for $10.35. Oh, half over half the price, more than half the price of Hobby, and half the price of Hobium. Um, so I won't buy them at Hobium anymore. I don't know why. I, I, the reason why I did before is because every time I would go to Valrita, they would be out. But I happened to catch them this time, and I'm going to start catching them from now on um, when they have them. So I've made uh, shawls with this. I absolutely love it. One cake made such a big, huge shawl, and it's so pretty. It's so soft. It smells fine. So, like I said, you've probably seen me open it before, but I'll go ahead and read the specs on it. Now, this is Yarn Art Flowers Alpaca. Now, they classify it as a two. I always say it's probably more like a three weight, though. It's made in Turkey. You can ha It says hand wash, lay flat. Um... 20% alpaca, 80% acrylic, 250 grams, 940 meters, or 1,028 yards. 
I am, for some reason, super obsessed with this yarn. I am. I think because it's just so... I don't know. The cake shoes, for one thing. It's the size of my head. And... <laughs> Second, it's just so pretty. It has a center pull here, which you can use from the center or the outside. You should check out my shawls I've made with it. Now it is a little bit fuzzy. That's the way it's supposed to be though. That type this type of yarn has a fuzzies on it. I like it. To me, I think it, it work I like working with it too. I have no problem. Anyways, the color of this one is called is number 418. Um, yes. 10.35 a ball. Like I said, you will not find it cheaper anywhere. Not anywhere. I guess unless someone's selling it cheaper, like an individual. But there's no company that's going to have it have it cheaper than Velrita. Remember, I'll put a link to them below. And I'm not affiliated with them. I actually did get two of those of that color for some reason. I don't know why, but I did. Um, and then I got this color. It is gorgeous probably my i don't know but it's my favorite yet i still have some to see look at that one. Oh, oh what's that remind you of bag of the day yeah of course of course but like what else i don't know if i worked it from the outside in it would look like kind of kind of like a, a sunflower you know like the dark and then out to the yellow but this one's beautiful so this is the same the color number on this is 437. Again, 1035 a cake. And I got two of these for some reason. I don't know why. One makes a shawl. Oh, I know why. Because I thought that maybe I would want to put fringe on one of my shawls. So I got uh, two of them. Okay, I only got one of each of these colors. These cakes are so <laughs> beautiful. I actually have this one at home. Um, that I bought from Hobium. So I got another one here in case I wanted to, I guess you can make a big blanket with it as well, or a poncho too. Um, here's the colors on that. Beautiful. Both these, these are very fall, fall looking. Both of them. It's bright in here today for some reason. That's so pretty. The color on this one is 414. Love it. Oh, and then I got this one. I've never had this color before. They had some colors I've never seen. So I've never seen this one. Color number 420. I thought it was pretty. It looks Christmassy. You know, it looks like, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong or just tell me your thoughts on it. A little bit like a Victorian looking Christmas. Because it's got a little bit of a goldish cream in the middle instead of, a, instead of a bright white. Well, it does have a little bit of bright white, I guess. But then it goes off to a golden cream. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Victorian Christmas. What do you think? Maybe, maybe not. I guess you can just, whatever you think. It's a pretty cake. Yeah, 420 is that one. I only got one of those. Um, well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's more. Here's a, what is this stuff? in a garbage bag okay it's in a garbage bag it's a garbage bag okay this one i've seen but never had before it's beautiful i really like it oh it's so pretty just think of like the beautiful shawls and even ponchos and even blankets if you wanted to i am just super obsessed with this as i just the yarn i love it I just read, like I said, I recently made not too, a couple shawls out of it. It's so pretty. It's so nice. Um, the color of this one is 416. Again, very, very pretty. I love that one. Oh, I've had this one before. This is straight up sunshine. Oh, that's not the same. That one's different. That's different. It's not the same thing. What am I doing? Okay, those are different. They're different varieties of yarn. Let me make sure I get everything correct here. Okay. This one I've seen but never had before. This one is very pretty. What's that remind you of? I don't think it reminds me kind of like a flower, maybe. Dark center and the yellow and maybe go off to the green leaves. 
I like to think of what, I always like to look at these cakes and kind of think of what they remind me of. Flowers alpaca. Maybe they're all supposed to remind you of flowers. That's why they're named that. <laughs> no, that's, that's very pretty. I like that one a lot too. I like all the colors of this. The color number on, on this one is, is 430. 430. This reminds me of a poinsettia now that I look at it. Now I don't know what it reminds me of. If I'm thinking of flowers. All right, so those were an excellent deal. They were $10 and uh, 35 cents. Excellent for, um, oh, here's a nice uh, invoice. Oh, and it converted it for me. What did I say it was? Yeah, 1035. Amazing, amazing. All right, let's move on here. Um, also, if you spend so much, you get a little bit of a, di of a discount. Looks like I got a 5% discount. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. I don't know what for. You'll have to go in their site and look. I, yeah, I think if you spend over $100 or something, maybe. That's what it was. I can't remember. Okay. Anyways, let's move on. Um, I don't have, like, tons of yarn, but... Um, I have some. So up next is Yarn Art again. It's it's called Yarn Art Flowers Merino. So this was Flowers Alpaca. The ones I just showed you that I'm absolutely in love with. And this is Flowers Merino. This cake's a lot bigger. I can't remember if I've ever had this before or not. I might have got it from Hobium. A long time ago, they might have used used to sell it. Maybe not. I don't know if I've ever gotten it before or not. I can't remember. But it's eight sixteen. Um, a cake. Is that right? Yeah, that's what it's showing. Anyways, this is twenty five percent wool, which I'm guessing that it's merino since it's called flowers merino, and seventy five acrylic. 225 grams 3.52 ounces 590 meters or uh, 645 yards so it's 645 yards now this one's classified as a dk which is a three weight but let's look at it because they classify that one as a two and it's a three i'm going to give that a four weight rating which i suspected already that i would think that that would be more of a four than a three Nice. So this is color. Oh, this is also. Oh, you can wash this one, but lay it flat to dry. Made in Turkey. This is color number 553, and I told you they were 864. No. It's not, it's not what it is. I'm sorry. 816. That's pretty. I like the dark color out to the tan. I like black and tan together. I think it's beautiful. And this being 660. Uh, 45 yards that's enough to make a shawl a, you know it's not gonna be a huge shawl but it'd be a uh, nice these things make gigantic shawls i mean the last one i made was like nine feet across <laughs> but yeah that's enough to make a nice pretty shawl or a shawlette or hat, you know um capelet or if you do a hat and scarf you know you're, you're not gonna have the ombre effect you can make one large infinity scarf that would be very pretty too get two of them make make a top yeah possibilities are endless actually so that's beautiful i did get a, a couple colors of that one they didn't have a lot of colors to choose from left because on that i guess they sold out super fast but i got this one too this is the flowers merino of course it's brown it's beautiful and i love it um 537 is the color on that one and this one is absolutely beautiful as well. Gosh, those are pretty. This one's straight up, straight up yellow. A little bit of white, but the rest is just like a light yellow to gold all the way out to this super gold color. <laughs> this one's, this is the Merino. Uh, remember, it says it's a three, but it, I think it's more like a four. T I mean, if you're going to ask me, that's what I, that's what I would say. Color 552. Five, Okay, um, is that, oh no, I got one more merino here, I think. Ooh, that one's pretty. 
Mm -hmm. Light, light, light whitish blue to gray. I like that one a lot. The merino. Um, color 550. Now, those are some beautiful ones. I like that. Um, and then I got some... Okay, so that's all the merino I got. I think I got there late on the merino. And I couldn't get as many as I would have liked. I'm going to talk about shipping as well. Um, the cost of shipping. I have uh, two more types of yarn to show you real quick. Um, so, this is the Elise... Elise... I hope I, can, I, hope I said that right. Um ombre oh that's so pretty that's a mm, beautiful beautiful ombre there that is very very nice um this is a very this is 660 a cake it's very beautiful it's very shiny it, i mean i don't you could probably see the shine on that see that this is a very lightweight yarn though but look at the top they made there can you see that Probably not. My light's all acting weird. Anyways. Um, yes, this is a lightweight yarn. This is 250 grams, 8.82 ounces. So it's a half a pound of yarn. 875 meters, 957 yards. Made in Turkey. What are you? 100% microfiber acrylic. Hand wash and lay flat to dry doesn't it is pretty heavy but and the weight on this is very light um it doesn't say but i'm i'm thinking that if i remember right it's like a one weight yeah. you know the way it looks the shine the shininess of it is almost like a, a mercerized cotton but it's not it's an acrylic microfiber acrylic yeah it's like a one yeah but isn't that beautiful? You can see the shine on it. It's remarkable. That is beautiful. That will be one beautiful shawl. Um, and since it's so lightweight, I only got two of them. Because I'm not good with the lightweight yarns. Here's another one. It's beautiful pink. So these were the same price. $6.60. That's what I paid at Valrita. Those are pretty. I don't know. That would make gorgeous shawls and stuff. But even that top they made there. It only looks like they used one cake for that top too. By the way, it, it ombres out there. But I don't know really. It's pretty lacy, so it's possible. Okay. Put them over here. Okay. And then I've ha I had a, uh, a subscriber. One of my YouTube friends here tell me that I need to try this yarn. Thank you very much. And she told me, she told me a couple of times, and I just I saw it at uh, Valrida, and I, I remember her telling me that I, I should try it. So thank you very much for telling me. And I am going to show you what I got right now. Oh, I get I'm sorry, I'm getting off track here. I did get one more of the Elise and the purple. Why that light's so bright? here it's got a beautiful shine and you that ombre is absolutely amazing okay okay back to this yeah the subscriber told me i needed to try these now at first glance they look just like a from hobby a uh, cotton king um so more than likely that's what they are because this is yarn art rose garden Oh, that's pretty. So this one, I think, is a 100% cotton. Yes. So Hobby's uh, Cotton Kings, uh, they have so many different varieties of that stuff. But they have some 100% cotton ones. Um, this is uh, probably the exact same thing. And I'm going to assume that it's a lot cheaper. Let me look at the price here. Eight sixty four dollars cake. Yes. <laughs> so you can't beat that. So these are beautiful. Thank you for your recommendation. Now this is Yarn Art Rose Garden, which is similar to the Hobby Kings or Cotton King, Hobby, whatever they are, Cotton Kings that are 100% cotton. It's uh, 250 grams, 
8.8 ounces, 1,000 meters or 1,100 yards. They classify this as a one weight, which most of these are usually two weights. These are the yarn arts. They, I always find they misclassify by a weight most of the time. Yeah, I'd give that a two way, but probably. Anyways, it's pretty, that's gorgeous. And it says you can machine wash and lay flat. That would be a beautiful, beautiful shawl. Yes, thank you for your recommendation. That's so nice and so much less expensive. And don't get me wrong, I love Hobby, I do. But I buy from Hobby Yarns quite a bit. When they have sales, I buy from them. But if I can get something that's the exact same, less expensive somewhere else, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do that. <laughs> this is more yarn then, you can buy more yarn that way. So the color on this one is uh, color number 313. Yep. How much did I say these were? 864? Yeah, that's what I paid for the Rose Garden. I don't know if that's right, but. So 864 for the Rose Garden, there's that one. Oh, look at this one, look at this one, another yellow. My light is so funky today, man. I need to scoot back. Yeah, that's better. I can see my mess back there. That's beautiful, isn't it? Rose Garden. The rest of these I'm going to be showing you are going to be the Rose Garden. And they're 864 cake at Velrita. They all have that center pool. They're all 100% cotton. They're all going to make something very beautiful. This is color number um 309 oh there's one that i think is my favorite though i never would have guessed it to be my favorite but man this sure is beautiful looking looking at it up here all right this one's super pretty this is the rose garden you know i probably would start this one i don't know i would probably make the green end up on the outside depending on what i made with it but um that way it looked like a uh pink pink flower in the middle I don't know you could do it either way whatever you decide it's gonna look pretty regardless that's beautiful feels good the cotton's nice too um, very nice it is um color number 314 on that one I have two more to show you here and I'll be done oh, I'll tell you about the shipping too this one's beautiful this is color number 325 very pretty blues Oh, oh, look at that navy, dark navy. On oh, That's gorgeous. Mm, pretty, pretty, pretty. But of the Rose Garden, I don't know why. This one just caught my eye, and I thought I had to have it. This is color number 304. I absolutely love, 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 love that blood red color in the middle, going out to the pink and to the white. That is so that is so pretty. To tell you the truth, if I, I don't know what I would, if I made a shawl with that, I don't know if I would, I think I would probably start with the red. Usually, it just depends. I might make the white be at the bottom. I think that's what I would do. What would you do? If you, had, if you were going to make a shawl, would you make the bottom of it the red or the bottom of it white with this, with this particular cake? I think I do my bottom white, but to each their own. It, like I said, it'd be pretty either way. That's gorgeous. I told you the color 304. So that's all I bought from Velrita. And thank you again to my friend here that told me to try out the Rose Garden. I love it. So I'll definitely be getting it again um, from Velrita. I just got to catch them as soon as I get their email and say they restocked. Otherwise stuff's just gone real fast. Okay. Let's talk about shipping, shall we? Now you got to pay shipping because this came from Lithuania. I do not think that the shipping was bad priced. I think the shipping was actually a remarkable price. Some people do not like to pay shipping, and that's understandable. I have no problem paying shipping at all. I'll pay shipping if you, you know, for the yarn. If I want it, I'll pay the shipping because I have to. That's just, so, that's just so the way it works. Um, so I paid... Uh, $37 to ship that for three days shipping. FedEx took three days to get here from Lithuania for $37. And I, like I said, that is not a bad price for as many cakes as I got. 
I got 20 cakes, so you can add on a dollar fifty to each cake for shipping. It's still, still, it's still ha over half cheaper, even with the shipping of any other place that you can find these at. And um, it got here in three days through FedEx. Now they had shipping that was a little cheaper, but I thirty-seven dollars for three days shipping all day. I mean. Look, I was look what I paid for Stinley. I told you that one time it was like over a hundred dollars to get it from Stinley. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, and I know I ship a lot, a lot of yarn, and I get a lot, a lot of yarn from different countries. I ship out of the country, I just ship over to the United States, get a lot of yarn from places, and I know that it costs more with 100% certainty than $37 to ship this express FedEx three days. I know that it did. So they're cutting you some slack on the shipping there. I know that it costs less than that. I know it did. I mean, I ship all the time. Even right, it, even if I would have took like slow shipping, it would have cost more than that from Lithuania to the United States. But I got FedEx three day express and it was only $37 and I think that's a killer deal. So from now on, anytime I want this yarn art, the flowers merino, the flowers alpaca, the rose gardens, the, the yarn art, uh, regular flowers or the sparkly flower ones that they, that I usually ha get, like they have the stuff too. I just didn't get any because, uh, I have a couple at home that I just, I'm still going to use, but yeah, they sell this too. And it's like half the price of any place else you can find it. Um, I'm always going to go to Valrita from now on because, um, they shipped it time and a time they shipped it the next day I, after I ordered it. It got here in three days. Everything was packed fine. No labels missing. Um, everything came. Prices are excellent. Shipping was, uh, very, very extremely reasonable in my opinion anyways. And yes, good praise for Valria. Now remember, I'm not affiliated with them, but I will. You do, uh, we, I did have to sign for this. I don't know if they do that for every package, but mine was only a hundred. This all cost like with shipping under $200. So anyway, so I don't know if it's like you have to, uh, with every purchase or not. I'm going to go. My video. I'm just blabbing now. Anyways, thanks to everybody for watching. Remember I'm not affiliated with them, but I will put their link below. Um, and you might have to sign up to their mailing list in order to get notified when they restock because they'll probably be out of all the yarn and usually they get out they sell out of it qu quickly and they do have other yarn as well that you can check out and it's all very reasonably priced so thanks everybody for watching i'm super excited um i want to use this christmas looking one hmm. victorian christmas maybe i don't know I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? Whatever that might be. Take care. Bye.